On Thursday, July 30th of 2009, in MLR, we were introduced to our research topic on the Full Sail Wimba blog. Now, since I don't have access to technology, I'm in a better position to look at grant writing to secure the funds needed for another computer lab or portable lab for our school. My main goal will be to provide enough information through my research that my colleagues and I can explore grant writing for our classrooms and continue in the future. Technology is accelerating at lightning speed and to keep up with the latest innovations in equipment and curriculum, schools need adequate technology available to their students. Technology advances have made it possible for students to incorporate international multicultural writing opportunities, collaborative wiki websites, podcast interviews and storytelling, multimedia presentations, video productions, and hosts of exciting and creative ways to engage the learner. So how do we get to there from here? There is an art to grantsmanship, and the research that precedes it is as important as the content. The most important research you will begin with is to become familiar with the vision and core philosophy of the company, organization, or foundation that you will be writing to. While classroom size grants usually run under 10,000, school system-wide grants require a committee or full-time professional grant writer to handle the paperwork and the level of evaluation necessary to succeed. We could very possibly handle the classroom size grants. To sponsor school change, many government organizations, foundations, and businesses will provide funds for educational technology. In the next graph, you will see there are approximately 100,000 foundations in the United States with almost a trillion in assets. The total number of foundations funding all forms of religious organizations is just over 50,000. The highest funders are the Catholic organizations, the Christian churches, and the Salvation Army. Successful grant writing involves considerable preparation. There are thousands of grant-making agencies, both public and private, and many of the grants offered can be found in online databases. Grant-making is a multi-million dollar per year business. The dollars involved are so large that if grant making were a single firm, it would rank near the Fortune 500 list. Methodology. It is my personal philosophy, and I feel full sales philosophy, that in learning objectives, learning is promoted when learners are engaged in solving real world problems. Initially, the concept of this project began when my school was going through certification with the Florida Council of independent schools. I was assigned to the technology committee to do a quantitative survey on our technology and staff needs. The results showed that even though technology was adequate for the elementary, the small lab of 26 computers shared by all grades was inadequate for the middle and high levels. Whereas there are nine computers in our media center and four desktops in our literature room, our needs were obvious. Now without adequate equipment, a lack of financial resources, or available donors, grant writing became a viable option. In my personal quest to update my computer skills, when I saw through Facebook that Full Sail offered a $12,000 scholarship to teachers, that opened up the possibility for me to get my master's. Now, for my choice of grant writing, we are well aware that the old ways don't work. We relied on tuition, fundraising, donated gifts, but we found ourselves uh, lagging behind, caught in an economic bind. So we had to do something different, and grant writing done by teachers is a very viable way for funds. Now here I've provided a grant match rubric that when filled out can give you a very good idea whether or not you're a good match to the funder or organization that you have chosen. 
This is a project timeline I found on Creative Commons, which gives an overview of tasks that, when done in sequence, provides a checklist to follow and can be customized to your project needs. Now, research, of course, is your most valuable asset. The Internet has become an excellent way to locate grant opportunities. Another way is to query corporations, nonprofit organizations, state and government agencies asking if they offer educational grants. You will need to draft expected project outcomes in specific measurable terms. Here, the goal example is to improve technology quality and availability with the three clear objectives to upgrade and expand current technology to train the staff and students through online training programs and implement a learning management system or content management system school-wide. The heart of the proposal must contain not only clear project objectives and legitimate costs, but also must have detailed post-funding plans and the personnel to carry out the objectives. Now, it's also recommended that the writer follow the two golden rules of grant writing. Ask a lot of people to help improve your proposal and make sure the first page acts as a standalone summary of the entire proposal. Now finally, regarding submission success or rejection, decisions are usually returned with comments that would be useful for revision and resubmission if allowed. A critical factor in your drive toward progress is attitude. Now the culmination of all these results was a website offering research, valuable information and data for private school technology grant writing, but could also be used by anyone interested in grant writing. The following is an excerpt from an interview of Bob Clampett, our former headmaster, on his expertise in grant writing. Mm -hmm. it's, we're just too young in the process. Yeah. So as we mature, as we grow, as we develop a history of grant winning, uh, grant experience, I feel that workshops or uh, retreats that would embrace grant writing, uh, not really solely as the reason for the retreat, but um, a high level administrative retreat where we may spend one or two days uh, talking about the mission and vision of our school. I can tell you that grant writing will play an integral part to come. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing that they do realize. They realize that the old fashioned methods, for lack of a better word, of financing a private school, which would be tuition, and endowments and gifts um, can't get the job done anymore, Patty. Yeah, they've got to go above yeah. and beyond. Yeah, that landscape has changed. That right? landscape yeah. has changed. Yeah. That's a good. Yeah. That's a good way to put yeah. it. That and it, and there are changed. so there are so much information and resources now that are online that people don't know how to access them. That's true. So if there was like a central website, yeah. which is what I'm trying to do, um, that people could go to and just begin to get an idea of the accessibility and of, of the possibilities of what they could do and they could contribute, that that horizon would Absolutely. broaden and that Absolutely. would open up. You know, this is a yeah. technology-driven society now. You know, the, uh, uh, the print media is blasé. You know, people are accessing information on the web. Uh, they're access they want instantaneous results. So I see your project uh, as right at the cutting edge of where it belongs. The timing couldn't be any better. There are numerous opportunities and a constantly changing landscape of grant possibilities. While one agency may not accept your proposal, another may think it a worthwhile endeavor. We will also need to inspire future teachers of the importance and power of not only continuing their own ongoing training in the current technologies, but in turn, using it in the classroom to prepare their students to become more technologically proficient. The success of their future and ours depends on it.